This is Africa International Network. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the launch of our network TV. I'm Raf Tafon, and this is AI TV. For several decades, Africans living in the global north have been without a media source of their own. They have mainly relied on different media outlets, and the information provided by such outlets are usually biased or misleading. Today, we are proud to launch our own network, AI TV, and we promise to give you viewers a full flow of information and reliable information, of course. Today on the studio, we have a special guest. It's the founder and coordinator of AI TV, Mr. OJ Tambe. Welcome to AI TV studio, OJ. Thank you very much. Tell us, you've been working relentlessly on the project uh, AI TV, and thus far, congratulations are uh, getting here. Thank you. And uh, I want to ask you, what, what are your feelings how uh, you achieved this? I'm very happy that we actually are launching a network. And, uh, I'm also happy with our team work that uh, we did in realizing our project. And also, we, uh, we want to make Africa proud about uh, uh, who and where they come from. And tell our viewers out there, mm -hmm. what is AI TV all about? Oh, uh, AI TV, we are a non profit organization, non-partisan, that aim at providing a regular flow of information to and from Africa. And uh, not only to and from Africa, we can also uh, provide information about other continents, but uh, the name of our network is just Africa International. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's web-based too? Uh, for now, we are web-based, uh, and uh, our website is www. AITV.se, you can go on our website and get uh, more information about uh, our network. Uh, and tell us, how did the AITV come about? Uh, well, for that, uh, there have been a lot of problems with uh, reliable information that uh, most Africans uh, have. And uh, creating this network, we thought that uh, we might solve that. And uh, we had been uh, working together with other media organizations that also cover events. But uh, uh, we see that the value they put for Africa uh, had been very low. So we want to increase the values of uh, the coverage of Africans abroad. And uh, one important question that I think would come up in the mind of skeptics, yeah. how different is AITV going to be from the rest of uh, mainstream media outlet? Uh, yeah, I think uh, for now, if you just look at our collaborators, uh, those who have African values, uh, who we already uh, started to work with, we want to produce uh, uh, information on time and base. For instance, if something happens in Africa, we will try to get our correspondence. Uh, I should mention here that uh, we have already a correspondent from Zimbabwe that will send information direct to us. We already have orders that I will not mention now until we get a, a really mm -hmm. finalize. discourse to finalize mm -hmm. our discussions. So we, we want to be very reliable and we don't want to add any strings attached to any news we produce and we want to produce news that Africans will in a balanced in a balanced way and we also want to promote uh, African culture and Africans value. So we stand in a position that uh, we can balance up media flow not just from the hegemonic media organization. We want to create this balance. Uh, I, I would say AI TV, is it just for Africans or does it engulf uh, other nationalities uh, from Africa? Uh, well, for now, we, we have the network Africa International. Uh, not just for Africans, but it's as a media for those who live outside their, co their countries or their continents. So we might also have information from other continents that uh, our audience needs to know. For instance, you might be living in, you might be from Southern America, 
or South America or whatever, and then you you need to bring your information to us. So we are not just stopped with Africans, but we can broaden our network mm -hmm. to other mm -hmm. continents. And I guess as as a, a network, so some sort of forum, uh, it would be say, almost impossible to, to work alone. Yeah. So how how would you get your information? The source of the information. How are you going to get it? Uh, well, I think for now it's very difficult to to work alone as an organization. But uh, we have. Uh, at the moment created a lot of network with other organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, we collaborators. Can, collaborators. We can start working or starting an organization like this without consulting our uh, representative, representative, I mean, uh, our uh, embassies, uh, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have contacted uh, most of the embassies and the they we're also excited that there is a media that can cover events organized by Africans and they were really happy and they want to collaborate with us. So we already have all the embassies uh, trying to work with us. Uh, we also have uh, research institutes like uh, Nordic Africa Institute that have huge research on Africa. Uh, there are resources that we need to tap from them and produce uh, information to Africans about that. We also have uh, governmental organizations, uh, Swedish government organizations, uh, Swedish government. Uh, we have uh, communes that we will be working with to uh, get information about Africans living abroad and to produce news about that. We also have uh, non-governmental organizations as well as individuals that have uh, their own organization. For instance, we have uh, uh, Africa in Gold by Joe Malaika. He has his organization. We need information about that. We have Help Africa by uh, Joshua Deep. We need to work with this individual as well as individual countries, organizations like uh, Cameroonian ACAM. So, so we, we are open to collaborate with a lot of other organization, mm -hmm. made, uh, lo lots of entertainers. Uh, for instance, DJ Mike, who is uh, uh, who's that? DJ Mike uh, oh, yeah. Adolf Ndip, who is uh, one of the biggest Scandinavian uh, DJs. You uh, would invite him here to tell us uh, his experience about uh, having uh, entertaining different mm -hmm. African. Uh, cultural groups and communities, as well as uh, as well as uh, other nationalities. We have in, uh, also entertainers or cultural uh, uh, cultural musicians like uh, Manu Kasmandiri from uh, Zimbabwe. He sings a lot and presents uh, dramas about uh, Zimbabwe culture to uh, different audiences who invite him here to tell us about his experience. We also have some more businesses uh, uh, like uh, Just Africa where you can get items uh, from different African countries there. Mm -hmm. So we have quite a lot of uh, uh, collaboration with uh, African uh, small and big businesses. I guess it's, uh, I should say it's, it's great already. It's only the start and Yet, uh, already there is a huge number of collaborators uh, to work with. Collaborators, yes, uh, they, they really want to work with us. And uh, I just uh, want to mention here that uh, we already have uh, correspondents in uh, Finland, uh, Norway, and Denmark, as well as in other European countries that uh, wish to work uh, together with us. So we are not standing alone. We are already working for now with a lot of other organizations. Mm -hmm. And uh, one other uh, important information, mm -hmm. how do you think uh, those out there could, uh, if they want to get involved, I mean small businesses, cultural organizations, mm -hmm. those that are not already involved, mm -hmm. those you haven't had contact with, how can they get involved? Well, for now it's uh, simple because uh, if you 
check on our Facebook and you like us on like us on Facebook and you check on our website, then you get a lot of information and our events, uh, uh, our events. You can join from there. And, and secondly, we we from our website you can write to us on uh, info at aitv.se. Also, small businesses cultural organizations, uh, individuals who run the organization, what you, if you want to appear on a program or on one of our programs, mm -hmm. you simply need to send us an email with your information. Information, I mean a brief information about yourself and what you want to present on our network. From there we will create a time and invite you to our studio. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Tambehoje. Is yeah. there anything else you think you want to add to our viewers? Uh, well, uh, I, want our, I want our viewers to spread this news, uh, to spread this launching uh, of our network, AITV, mm -hmm. far uh, and uh, wherever they can reach and share our information on Facebook. That's how we can get the uh, weather and also log in on our. Uh, website AITV.SE and see what we're doing and don't forget to uh, write to us or call us uh, if possible we will be there to cover your event or if you're organizing something you really need us to be there we will be there for you but I guess there's uh, sufficient information on, on the web page yes we have contact a, and stuff we have like a, we have our emails there you can contact me as a coordinator okay time there AITV.SE or you can contact one of our presenters like you Rafta from AITV.SE or you can write to us at info at AITV.SE any of them or we will be there for you and you write us on Facebook wherever we have our contacts everywhere so you, you just need to write to us and we will be there for you. Thank you very much Mr. Ojitambe. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. It's been the, the launch of AI TV, and uh, we had a special guest, Oji Tambe, the, the uh, coordinator and uh, the uh, creator of this uh, network. He's given us information, enough information, on how to, to contact uh, uh, crew members, and he's also given us enough information about what the network is all about. So I'm left to, to tell you that simply visit the web page www.aitv.se and uh, also visit uh, our Facebook page and do not forget to, to, to like the Facebook page. AITV is simply reliability, uh, promptness and impartiality. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Goodbye.